it's uh, Courtney with another video. Um, so this one's kind of a fun one for me, at least. Uh, so I was thinking to myself, you know, I've been I've been reading a lot of them on distributed systems and and servers and connections and getting all kinds of stuff. And and I was thinking, you know, I wonder, you know, if I was to write my own um, service as far as for listening for UDP messages, could I essentially take my syslog? messages and have my box have my router export my syslog messages and then I just listen on the syslog port what would I get ask myself that question so I decided to implement it to see so I did um so before we start I'll show you guys what the network looks like and this is my my makeshift test network so you know don't make fun of it too hard <laughs> but essentially it's just vi this VIOS router here um it's connected to this uh cloud switch and E of NG and then essentially that's all I'm, um that's the device I'm using as my test router. So let's go ahead and open up PyCharn again. So first we're gonna go ahead and start the service because this was really something that I thought was interesting and I'll have a point at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and run the server. And so it's gonna be running so actually let's stop the server first because I don't want let's run through the source code. So we're just gonna use the socket module specify our host and port that's going to be used to connect or well, we're going to the server is going to use the bind on so he'll be listening for those particular circuits um connections sorry um and we're going to use a context manager and open up a uh, socket object um we're going to bind that host and port that we defined earlier then we're going to print and say that the host is listening on port and then that port number and then we're going to start our infinite loop here and then we're going to go ahead and receive um 10 um one megabyte uh, uh, per loop and then print that data out and then if not data we're just gonna break the loop so we stop receiving data for some reason then we're just gonna break the loop so let's go ahead and start the server and to show you guys that this is actual little device that we're on we'll go ahead and do like just some just to generate some messages so I'll just shut down this interface and then I should see loopback one come down yep see and then let's see what happens if I go interface loop back one hundred. Okay, that looks good. Let's do if I do this show IP OSPF show IP route first. So we got show IP OSPF neighbor, and we got an interface on a neighbor on interface gig zero one. What happens if we drop that interface? Let's shut that down. And we shut down that interface you can see that the router is going through some convergence uh, let's see how long it's gonna take OSPF to catch up oh you know what I wonder if I IP router OSPF one log adjacency changes that might have not worked in my flavor favor so IP okay so do that again so no shut and we should come back up and my neighbors I should actually see that at least in the uh, messages and you can see the neighborship goes so I, I thought this was really cool because as you can see something as simple as this and with it using UDP there's no validation there's no connection there's no anything it's just getting that raw data and the point that I bring on this is that this is one of those things where configuration management and and locking down your devices is so important because say that an adversary gets access to your device or for some reason sees a configuration file most people don't think that much of it uh, it's you know it's just a few statements you can't make out my entire network by looking at a config but you know it's really easy to spot something like this if I was to go to my box and I just do a show run section logging there's nothing that's stopping me from getting there and then what happens if they spin up some kind of a rogue device and that's impersonating that IP address I start this server and here I am now I'm getting information um, that's crucial and crucial to the operations of your network so this is some of those things that you know as simple as this is and how quick this took you to do um, you don't realize how how easy this is for somebody to do and if they get access to your network how detrimental this is you know thank God other protocols have different um, methods to, to validate that you know they're sending it to the correct host but most people today are still using standard syslog over UDP and you know something like this is totally uh, 
a uh, a risk I would say to any network but outside of that I thought this was really cool um I, I just had the idea and I was like well let me try it and, and it works so yeah um you guys want to check out the source code I'll make it available but yeah I appreciate it thanks